All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be uh, looking at two different bugs related to Nia and her awakened form currently. Uh, so my physical attack is 20, damage is 20, it's my buff right now just to be thorough. Um, this is for farming, actually I'm going to go ahead and turn on hot time on that as well, since that's kind of like the idea. So Nia works pretty much alright in worlds 1 to 7 right now, but there's like a bug with uh, her awakening queuing, which is the main thing. So if you wanted to farm gold and rubies simultaneously, like you say boost and then auto, uh, your first instinct would probably be to go and uh, use her first piercing skill to take out like that first wave there, and then use her second skill to uh, build up her awakening gauge a bit more, so that you can use her third, you can use her other piercing skill. And uh, she's pretty ideal for this as well, for like uh, 4 fodder farming uh, 820, because since she has two piercing skills, and she has uh, debuff immunity and uh, void shield for all allies, uh, it should in theory be possible to do 4 fodder farming in 820, right? And if the auto repeat were to work the way it was supposed to, then it would be pretty easy, yeah. But let's look at what actually happens here. Well, let's do the masteries first. So. They're my masteries for the sake of completion, and I should probably show actually what my needs equips are right now. Okay, now we're ready. May show what happens with uh, this. Get that skill first, and then we do this, and then we use the awaken skill once it's up. That's what we're trying to do here. So let's give that a shot and see what happens. So with that damage accessory and the right jewels and everything, uh, the Mirage Sword skill doesn't really have any issue with taking up this first wave. So you can see that the animation's a little bit screwed up. Like, that was just basically a black screen, right? Okay, and then you can see that the Awakening skill isn't up yet, so it can't actually be queued. And also, how did I just get sound? Oh wait, no, it's yeah, it's Nia who gets the debuff in the But now that we used that first skill, it's still queued because the second skill didn't get it didn't come up until after that uh, first skill was used. It actually came up because that first skill was used. So now Nia's just going to sit there waiting for her first skill to come around. because of this bug, and then she gets debuffed, and then, well, she's probably tough enough that she might actually make it through, but, and then end up using her whatever, but that's going to take too long, I'm not going to sit around for that. So let's try doing this manually then. Let's see what would happen if we didn't have to rely on this broken auto-repeat logic. Just turn up auto skill for a sec. So that I don't actually accidentally use uh, some random skill like over here. Oh, I turned on show touches and uh, the Android debug too. Just figured that maybe that would be helpful for some people to see exactly what I'm touching on the screen. Okay, and then that fills up the awakening gauge, so now we can use this skill. And then you notice that there's no animation there either, just Nia disappears and suddenly everybody's dead. So that's the other bug. So the first there's the uh, uh, auto-repeat logic bug, right? And then there's also a display bug, where uh, she just disappears and suddenly all the enemies are dead, which is kind of a ninja thing for her to do, but I don't think that that's what she's meant to. I don't think she's trying to be like an invisible assassin. Uh, so I was talking to a friend, and he was like, well, maybe it's the skin. I was like, that, it, should, it shouldn't be the skin. Like, all the skin, all the uh, animations should be, like, just um, rendered, like, in real time, I think. And then, like, the skin is just, like, overlaid in, onto the character. But So I ended up, I was like, okay, well, I'll try taking off the skin. 
And uh, we can see, uh, let's go back and do this manually again. And what we find is that, oh yeah, I didn't swap out my fodder board. This is more a demonstration video than anything, so I don't really, I don't really care about leveling up my fodder too much right at this exact moment. So you can see you actually got uh, animation here instead of just a black screen. So it is actually the skin. So yeah, that one, the display bug can be fixed by taking off uh, whatever skin you have on Nia and just having her use her default. Um, I don't know if it applies to her Awakened skin, because I haven't gotten that yet. I was thinking about getting it just to test this out. Um, I would think that the devs probably would have noticed if it didn't work with the Awakened skin, so I'm guessing it probably isn't a bug, or the bug doesn't exist for that. But. I don't know, maybe I'll test it out later. Uh, now that I've shown the workaround for the display bug, now I'm going to show the workaround for the uh, skill queuing bug. Now, keep in mind that that... Um, wow, that's really slow load screen, okay. Uh, so, what's the name of that other skill? Um, the blue skill. Hello? Okay. Uh, Rocket Smasher. So it doesn't have any piercing, so it's not gonna it's not gonna kill any of the enemies that you're fighting. Um, you're just using it just to build up her awakening gauge, right? And the thing, the problem with the awakening skill is that it can't uh, be queued properly if uh, this other one is getting in the way. So what you do instead is you take uh, the first wave and you start by just uh, filling up part of the gauge. Then you kill all the enemies. You also get some awakening gauge for just like regular attacks too. Um, not counter attacks, not speed attacks, but like your first basic attack. You also And you also get it, uh, you get a bit of awakening gauge for taking damage, I believe too. So, uh, but those first two, along with like the basic attacks on the first wave and the second wave, if she has enough speed, uh, will get you to like, the point where you should have like your awakening skill up at the, uh, around the beginning of the second wave. And since if you only have the awakening skill queued for the second wave, then it'll just be, it'll uh, queue automatically when it's supposed to and it won't have anything getting in the way. So now we say auto repeat and I'm going to put in some better fodder here, like real fodder. Um, hello? Okay, it's a little bit laggy there. Lag. Come on. Oh my god. Alright, come on. Okay, now we're ready. And then I guess I'll probably, I, it actually, one of the nice things about uh, uh, farming for rubies this way is, well, you don't get as much fodder because like you're farming during gold time and also uh, heroes don't drop as much in world eight, but um, you, it, when you do bring fodder in here, uh, they level up really fast, probably because of the boost. The boot, boost mode uh, doubles the amount of experience you get uh, by itself. And then world eight also gives, World Eight, World Eight gives you double experience, and Boost Mode gives you double experience. You're getting like quadruple experience, and it's only there's only two waves per battle, so it goes pretty quick. Like you can, I can get it to uh, 100 fodders farmed um, pretty quickly doing this. So if I'm, if I have a day where I feel like I don't have that much time to farm, then this can actually be pretty good, and I can uh, build up some gold as well. The thing about this, uh, when um, See, you can see that like all my fodder are alive, the uh, awakened skill triggered properly, uh, my time was only 115. So it, it actually seems like it's pretty decent um, doing it this way. The only thing that I'm noticing here is that Espada tends to be alive at the end because that first um, the uh, uh, rocket smasher skill isn't uh, hitting them. 
and she takes a bit of damage from that. So if I bumped her damage up just a little bit, like with her weapons and uh, maybe um, uh, powering her up, like doing uh, the awakened power up, then I think she could just clear that wave just with her awakened skill. Like she just needs to be able to get rid of the spotted air, and uh, it'd be basically perfect. So yeah. This, uh, using this method, I think the Farming 820 is viable, even despite uh, the various bugs that are present right now. And what are we at? Oh, we're already at uh, 29. Level 29, yeah. What was that? Well, let's just, it'll, it'll show, uh... How many auto repeats that took in just a sec here, I guess. Yeah, and so, uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. I'll uh, probably do another video sometime soon.